This lesson today is how to do a spreadsheet on the Nimbop printer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the printer on and have the app up. Now what's going to happen, it's going to go and recognize, we're going to connect the printer. Okay. And there comes the uh, label for it that's in there. We want to use this label. Now what I want to do is remove that box, so we're going to delete it. Okay, now we're going to push the insert Excel button. And uh, what it is, I have it in the iCloud. Notice the iCloud drive. I'm sure there's something similar on uh, Android. So I'm going to click on the file that we're doing and uploading. I had already uploaded it, so it's already sitting here. So we're going to upload and things that we don't need in this. We're going to category two. We don't want to put our cost in there. Uh, this price, description, item ID. We want all that. Um, quantity. We don't need to know the quantity of it. So those are the things that we want to import. So we're going to import them. And of course, it's got it all all bamboozled here so we're going to move it around this was uh, one of the categories I think that's that's the vendor that's the stock number this is the description this is the price on the price let's make the price a little bit larger because in the spreadsheet this person that gave me the spreadsheet didn't have a dollar sign on there it doesn't show a dollar sign um, and then we want to take this one and we want to, let's see, ring. I think you ought to put the type of jewelry in the description. But uh, I'm going to move the ring up here. I'm going to move this up here. Ring right there. And I'm going to use as much real estate that I can for this. Um, and um, let's go... Word wrap, to, to the reverse type, look at all that stuff you can do uh, on it. Uh, I want to go and center it like that, and uh, I think that'll work. Um, we could keep on fooling with this. Okay, so let's hit the print button. I don't want to actually print it, but if you see, that's how it's going to print, and that's going to how it's going to print the next one, and the next one, and the next one, so on and so forth. Okay, that's how you do it. If I push the print button, it would go and uh, print it. So, and that's how we're doing spreadsheets using the Nimbot app. This in particular one would be the Apple iPhone uh, and using iCloud to import it. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's waste some labels. Let's print it. Yep, I guess I should have set up the printer a little bit better. Let's see. Let's go in. There we go. This is one of the old printers. Let's continue. There we go. Now, I think if we use word wrap, it would help with that around. And there's some positioning that you can do. Remember, when you position one, you position it for all. And that's a wrap. Just something I want to add to this. I did click on the word wrap, and that eliminated any of the, the problem of the words being kind of wonky. It actually didn't break the words in half. It did word wrap. So, cool. I hope you enjoyed the video.